Alright, so we're going to do some tubing notching today. Uh, these notches are unfortunately not very simple, but we're going to lube it up and hopefully this bimetal blade will work. Now bimetal is extremely uh, sensitive to heat, so we have to be careful not to overheat her. And hopefully this thing will work without having to bolt it to something. Now this one we're cutting halfway, and then it's got to be angled and cut another way. Come on. There we go. So I got to be careful not to cut it too far. About right there is good. this pin here to lock her in place. Well, fuck. Come on. I feel so dumb. There we go. Good enough. Okay. Yeah, this definitely sucks not having a big workbench to bolt this to, but we got our first notch, so now we need to go to the other side and we need to notch it exactly 14.69 inches away. So, yeah, I'm trying not to get in your guys' way here. Release this clamp. We can slide her out. Come around here and make our mark. 14.69 from the cut will be. We're using the weld line as our center so we can get a nice strong center. It's 11 16 so 14 and let's see, 11 16 would be. Right there. So now, in order to get. In order to get a cut, that is properly aligned, we have to align our weld with the V of the clamp. And that way, we know we have exact same notch. So we got to pull this pin, let it down. We don't want it too wide, we don't want it too thin, because it, it really does have to be accurate for it to work properly. So that looks about good. Tighten that down. Okay, a little oil, keep her from overheating, because again, bimetal is very sensitive to heat not good to overheat that type of blade. Now we kind of just get her going. And again, we have to go halfway. Okay. So that looks pretty good. Again, we gotta <laughs> find our little notch hole. All right, now we got one other beam to do, and that'll be all for now, because the other part I have to completely redesign. Well, we got to come back and do the, the angled notches, but we got one more flat notch to do. So put this over to the side. What is that about? What? Shush. What? thinks it's a 11 o'clock, that's odd.
Okay, I'm um, sorry guys. All right, so the next beam is, we can actually cut this one all the way through. Well, nope, there's two more beams. But anyway, we can cut both of these all the way through so they'll be easier. They're both 38.69. We just cut them clean through. They are labeled as V. <clears throat> so first, to check and make sure they've been cut long enough. 38, 40. 40? They're cut all the way to 40? Well, that's confusing. It makes sense, but anyway, so in order to save metal and hopefully not screw up, what you have to do is you have to put this, this edge center line with this, and that will allow you to, yeah, this pipe's way too long and we don't have anything to support it. What about a jack stand? There, jack stand supports it, <laughs> sort of. Maybe not. Um, uh, yeah, the jack stand does a pretty good job. All right, so anyway, we want this to be dead center. I might have to block your view here for a second. We want this to be dead center. You don't want to waste any space. All right. Whoa, this is so janky. Clamp it. All right. Oh, there goes all my plans. Okay, lube it up. I, I should be using regular WD-40, but I can't find it, and it's really pissing me off because I know I have a brand new bottle somewhere. It's gonna really piss me off if it turns out somebody fucking took it. That, that won't be good. All right. All right, so we just cut all the way through. There we go. Probably got the blade a little hot, so we'll have to let it cool down. Definitely will let that blade cool down. All right. Yeah, I really wish I had something to bolt this to. But in the meantime, oh, you know what I did did wrong? I didn't do this on the weld. Damn it. Totally spaced out on that. Fucking hell. All right, anyway. So what was it, 3869? There we go. Yes. So I just need to be careful with how I place this in the cutter. Damn, that pisses me off. I forgot to do that. It's so simple. Such a simple thing, you know? Now everything's jeopardized because of it. Ah. Okay. Come on, stay on there, you piece of shit. I like have a bad habit of closing these markers when I'm in the middle of using them. Okay, 0. 0.69 is 11 sixteenths again. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Ooh, that barely leaves us much room. Yeah, the AutoCAD definitely, um, definitely didn't leave us much room. Now I need to mark the top, which is right about there. I guess if I have to, I can just grind it down to fit properly. Oh, that makes me so mad I forgot to do that. Oh, I gotta close. I don't want the marker to dry out. I don't know. It's a bad habit. I'm trying to kick of being worried about a Sharpie. So we want that face up. That has to come out. So we can align it. So 
and run it like that, but we uh, need it to be straight up and down, which would be about there. Right about. Oh, I just moved it. Okay. Right about there. Maybe, no, maybe back a little. Let's try that. Alright, that should be good. So, lube it up. And try to hold it in place as we cut. <laughs> Jeremy actually who did the uh, goat simulator videos with me recommended using a concrete block to try to help hold it and I have to be honest if it wasn't for that suggestion I would be boned. Is it me or is this thing not cutting the tube very straight on? Well anyway now we can actually take this over here and test it. Um, yeah the frame's definitely a little off. But now we can use this tube to weld it up properly and then take the tube out, finish notching the tube and all that fun stuff. All right, we got one more tube to notch. Well, that's not at an angle. One more unangled tube, let's call it. So this time I'm gonna be smart and use the weld line and line it up. So that we have pretty close to center there. And then I'm gonna mark the weld line right like that. Right there. It's perfect. Okay. A little lube. Don't want her to dry out. <laughs> That's never a good thing, no matter what. Man or machine. <laughs> I just noticed this fucking whole shaft is not true. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the drill's like all freaking out and shit. That's lame. This thing doesn't make it through all the tubing notches I have to do, which there's a lot of them, then we're gonna have a problem. Especially the company that made this, they're gonna have. Do not wanna piss me off. Okay. All right, so we have a little extra room to work with with this time. So, eight, 11, 16. Right, use the weld to line it up. And where 
we go. for today.